Hello everybody. Today let's discuss how to find the square root of a number. Already we have found, we have learned of finding a square of a number. So if you haven't watched that video, please do check that video. That actually helps a lot in your competitive examinations. So today we are going to learn how to find a square root of a number. So let's consider an example. The square root of 10 to 4. So many of you have already known the value of the square root. But in case of 5 digit number and the bigger values, it will be very time consuming for you to find the square of number by a proper method. So this method actually helps to find the perfect squares. So let's get started. So the first step is look at the last digit before that split the two digits as separate unit. So first step is you have to split the last two digits into separate units. Always remember last two units as a separate units. Okay. In this step 2, what I have done is just look at the last digit that is the ones place. So the ones place or the unit place. Look at the unit place. Here the unit digit is 4. So square root of 4 is 2. So there are two possibilities for this number for, for the square root of number. One is 2 the last digit and another digit is 10 minus 2 that is 8. So the last digit of the answer will be either 2 or 8. Okay. So this is the first step that you have to do. First you have to split the last two digits and look at the unit place. Take the square root. Square. Then you have to multiply. Uh, sorry. Subtract the square, square root value from 10. And there are two possibilities. One is 2 and another one is 8. Now see the first two digits. Now what you have to do is. So you have found the last digit as either 2 or 8. You have to find the first digit, right? So here, see the first two digits. First two digits is here 10. So what is the square number that is nearer to 10? So 3. Because 3 3s are 9. 4 4s are 16. So 16 is exceeding 10. So consider 9. So what is square root of 9? That is 3. So 3 will be your first digit. So now... Uh, we don't know exactly what the value of 1024 is. So, it, it will be either 32 or 38. So, let me say you a trick. So, how to find whether it is 32 or 38? Now, how to find whether it is 32 or 38? So, you have 3 here. Right? You have 3 here. So, write 3. What is the next number to 3? 3. 3. 4, right? So you have to multiply 3 into 4. What is 3 into 4? 3 4s are 12. So now compare this 12 and this 10 because you are finding the first place whether it is 32 or 38. So you have to always consider the first two digits. So 10, 12. Compare 10 and 12. So this 10 is smaller than 12. Therefore the answer will be the smaller value. That is 32 will be your answer. So let's see some examples how to find the square number. Look at these examples. First example is 1369, right? So for this, you have to split the last two digits. The last two digits, the last digit, so square root of 3, sorry, square root of 9 is 3. So your unit digit will be either 3 or what, what will be this? It is 10 minus 3 which is 7. So either 3 or 7. So now look at the first two digits that is 13. What is the square number that is nearer to the value of value 13? See 3 3 is 9, 4 4 is 16. So obviously it will be 3. Right? Okay. Now 3 into 4 that is 12. So the value 13 is greater than 12. Hence take the greater value which is 37 will be your answer. So here look at this example. Split the last two digits which is 49. So take square root of 9 which is 3. And another one is 10 minus 3 which is 7. Now consider 18. What is the square number which is nearer to 18? 4 4 are 16. 5 5 are 25. So 4 obviously. So 4. 4 into 5 which is 20. So this 18 is less than 20. Hence take the smaller value. That is 43 will be your answer. So, in case you are given a value which is uh, say 5776. Okay, obviously you have to split this 76 and uh, last two digits separately. Now, take, 
considering the number which is 6 so 6 is not a perfect square okay you can't take square root of 6 now in that case when 6 is not your perfect square but the perfect squares of number ends in 6 right so the perfect square of 4 ends in 6 and the perfect square of 6 because 6 4 4s are 16 6 6 are 36 so this obviously ends in 6 therefore this must be a perfect square but how can i uh, take square root of 6 so in this case put 6 as it is then you have to subtract what I have told you have to subtract this 10 uh, subtract this number from 10 therefore you have already taken 6 as that is so 10 minus 6 4 right so you got these two numbers which ends in the perfect square so this is the idea just to remember just put 6 as it is then subtract 6 from 10 that is 4 then coming to this number 6 6 are 36 7 7 are 49 8 8 are 64 so obviously it will be 7 so now 7 8s are 56 so this 57 is greater than 56 hence take the bigger value which is 76 will be your answer thank you